Hello guys, we got the update for BRM5 today, and it, we have a FAMAS as a new weapon, and 25v25 with a new map, as well as a sniper rifle. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but the Ultima Ratio, I think. Please don't blow me if I said that wrong, because I probably did. But I'm going to go ahead and try the Famous first, and we're going to head into 25v25 with that. See the new map. Alright, looks like I got the new map. I'm just going to hop right in. I assume it, yeah, I still have the loadout I want. Um, alright, let's see it. I don't know how much of this is... I think this is all new. They used old textures, but this is a new map, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was like a desert, though. This doesn't look very desert. Dang, man, this thing is killing fast! Holy crap! I want to switch to the closer range site, though. These guys aren't even that far. Ooh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fire coming in from over there. No, thank you. I want to be in a helicopter. That would be awesome. I can't wait to see some combat like that. But until that point, looks like I'm going to be on foot. Yo, okay. This is a pretty cool inside of the building here. I would love to see a zombie map with something like this. I think this is already a good base for that sort of an idea. Maybe they can copy over some of these maps, have them multi-purpose. I'd rather have new maps, but maybe you could put these in too. Okay, I just captured this uh, plane. Took a guy out right before I entered in and... Kind of drove over here at the start of the match, and that worked out pretty good. Okay. I like this point. This is a pretty cool setup right here. It's like a cargo plane down. Now that they have the model for this thing, bro, just use it. It'd be awesome in open world. Maybe it's like a sort of an event thing. I don't know, but that'd be pretty cool. Bro! There's still an enemy over there, I think. Crap. Okay, these rocks provide some good cover, but it's providing cover for my enemies, too. Okay, he's dead. Dude, they just all spawned on that one guy that made it over here, and I was just trying to kill him. Okay, fly vehicle. It spawns you in in the passenger seat. <laughs> That's an interesting choice, but... Uh, Alright. I think I'm gonna go for A, try and fly over there. Oh, I got hit. Dodge them bullets. Pull up to the plane. Get out. Capture the point. Okay, you can't go that way. Nice. No! My, <laughs> my teammate stole my helicopter! Okay, that was just mean. Okay, we're gonna get a new setup for open world here before I head in. So I think I'm gonna take the AK-103 and go sniper. And yeah, let's let's try this new sniper at the new Ronograd area, which I am very excited to see. Go ahead and go with the four base. Try one of those new vehicles out. I did look at some of the new uniforms. Um, I'm not a crazy guy in uniforms, so I wasn't too worried about that anyway. None of them really looked that good to me, so I just stuck with what I had. But, definitely interested to try, yeah, one of these new vehicles. So, let's see. I don't know if they revamped the vehicle customization system yet, but that's something they talked about doing in the developer Q&A. If you want to watch the developer uh, Q&A, that they talked about the future, their plans, different game modes coming up, like zombie mode, a boat map, crazy stuff like that. I posted the full thing, hour long. But these are definitely new, so... This one has more health and more seats. But I bet this one's probably faster. <laughs> Almost guarantee you. I did see this one in 25v25, and it looks pretty cool. Fuel capacity confuses me. Can we run out of fuel now? Is that something? This thing's faster, and I think I would rather have it. Let's do that, and let's go armored M2. Um, Camo netting sounds cool. And I think forest is the move. So let's do that. Okay. And now I'm going to spawn it in. Okay, so it's actually like netting. They weren't joking about that. That looks pretty cool. I'm glad I put that on. Let me go ahead and get to the driver's seat. I assume you have to go through the back. Well, maybe not. Yeah, okay, you can go in from the side. That's a pretty cool entry. Alright, cool animation. 
I love that you actually have the camo netting. I need to see if the other vehicles have camo netting too, because uh, I like the 3D aspect of that. That is awesome. Um, I'm going to Rongrad for sure. It'll be interesting how I... Oh, this thing's turning capacity is awesome. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's going to be interesting how I do it Rongrad with a sniper on my own. Probably not good at all, but the point is just to see the area. And I can use the turret on here, and that'll probably help out a lot. Yo! Okay, they talked about having spastic events with AI, but I didn't think that it would literally be like this. This is kind of what I was hoping for, just to see him around. Okay. There's one right next to me, and he's going to kill me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can use my pistol, because I am not going to get a close-range kill with my sniper right now. These guys take hits. Okay. I love that it actually blocked the road. Like I couldn't just I couldn't just go around there. That was a kind of required event, but uh you can get through. It's just tough. Awesome. I am all for random events like that where you're not expecting it and they come at you. Cool. Okay. Oh, I keep wanting to go from the back, but I'm getting from the side. All right. So, I know that the tunnels should be different and the bridge. Those are the things that I read that have been changed as well as the city itself and the fact that we don't have a spawn. Looks like I have some more friends here. Okay. Let me just hop in my turret. Please get the turret. All right. I like that it's not crazy frequent, but uh like going on the road, I had to deal with these AI twice. I'll tell you, having a um mounted turret is a lot bigger deal now going around the map because that takes care of them pretty quickly. And I like this vehicle. Highly recommend it. Turning radius is amazing. And uh, that's good to get around these new uh, obstacles we have. And to deal with the AI, the turret gets the job done, and it's a pretty cool-looking one. Okay, this is an awesome tunnel. The lighting, especially with this new vehicle, they contrast very pretty. Okay, let's go around and see the city itself. Awesome! Okay, we have random AI already. I'm going to back up. Let's deal with these guys one at a time. Get some cover over here before I get swarmed. Okay. Let's see what these guys got. Yo, there's just random AI in buildings? Okay, that's awesome. Headshot, and he just took it. Okay. This sniper is not uh, great right now. There we go. One shot on that guy. Yo, they're just, like, in the bu This is awesome. There's so much more variety in the gameplay. I don't know if they still have a main base here, but uh, so far I'm liking this better, especially if there's more as I get further in, so it's actually difficult. I don't expect to be able to solo this area, but maybe sometimes there's more than others now. The more randomization so this stuff isn't predictable, the better. Yo, I think those two are glitched, though. <laughs> they're just chilling there and not dying. No way. Four headshots. Alright, last shot, and then I'm giving up. Try and hit that guy. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with those guys. Just feel like I'm wasting ammo. Looks like another one came on this side. Did I just hear a turret? Yo! They just pulled up over there. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, now those two decided to shoot, huh? Just great. Okay. Going further in the city. What can I find here? Whoa. Okay, like an old park right there. That's awesome. I'm going to go through and clear this out on foot. Oh, gosh. We're going to need some cover. I think we can go in this building. Oh! Crap. Spam bandages. Spam bandages. No! <laughs> I actually died, man. That was me doing my best, but they start coming at you. This is a awesome system. And there's actually cover you can get to, and it was kind of super my, my part, probably not to get in the turret there, but going that fast into the city is what caused me to die for sure. Well, okay, cool. I love the random aspect of unpredictability. That makes open world gameplay way more fun, especially for solo players. Um, that sort of a map for Ronograd 2 would be cool with zombies, I will say, so I'm excited to see that. I think this is where I'm going to call the um, video. I'll be doing streams where we have unique gameplay and 25v25s across open world. So if you want to you know, see that Ronograd city, for example, but fight other players, 
head on in Friendly Fire, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, you might see a stream. I'm looking forward to another update soon, because they said part one with this, by the way, guys. So keep that in mind. Hopefully we'll be getting another one soon. That would be my understanding. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, because this is one of my favorites here, especially for open world. Um, I will say the 25v25 map, I thought it was going to be more like a actual desert desert. It's kind of grassy, but it's still a different, um, you know, layout. And you have helicopters, so I'm down. That's still cool. And uh, I'm excited to see more in the future. So good work on this update, devs. And I'll see the rest of you guys in the next video.